Hello and welcome to my very first declutter video. Um, I know it seems kind of silly to be doing this like so very early on in my channel, but um, I have all of my Black Friday stuff coming and I thought it'd be a really great idea to like make room for that stuff, um, especially in this category, the blushes, highlighters, and then like face palettes. So I just wanted to go through these because there's just, there's a lot going on here. So yeah, uh, let's get into this and hopefully be getting rid of some stuff. Um, I'm going to start with blushes, which means I need to get this stuff out of the way and hopefully not drop anything. Ah, okay. So um, excluding these for just a minute. In here, I have all of my depotted um, ColourPop blushes. Um, straight off the bat, I know that I need to get rid of one of these because if you look at these, look how close those are. This is Petal Pusher and Night Bloom. They're just, they're so close. I'm kind of leaning towards keeping Night Bloom because it's not as pinky as Petal Pusher. The problem is, is that I have used Petal Pusher more and so it like does not give the greatest impression. Uh, you see, they are just so close. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep this one because it's not as pink. I do still have the compact for this, so I'm going to put that away after I make all of my final selections. So that one is a going la bye bye. Don't know why I said it like that. It's just that was a weird thing to do. So we'll keep referencing back to this. I don't think I need both this one and this one. I just, I don't think I need both of these. This is Cotton Candy from just the Ulta collection. And this is another ColourPop one. This is Catch My Vibe. And they are just, they are just, I, I didn't bring a towel over here. I, well, I have paper towels, so it'll be fine. They are just far too close to the same color. Crap, which one did I swatch? I swatched this one first. I thought I thought that I was going to keep um, Catch My Vibe. I really did. But now that I'm looking, I kind of like Cotton Candy better. It's more of a, more of a brownish color. Hold on. Let me wipe off my fingers and... Let's compare to some of the sing the uh, not unpotted ones that I have. This is a Roman D. I got this off of AliExpress forever ago. Better than cheek. This is a Korean brand. Let's see here. And that's nothing like either of them. That's fun. I find that I'm not using pink blushes as much. So I definitely want to keep this one, so I'm going to set that over here. I also have this CoverGirl Cheeker in... It doesn't have a shade name. Wait, wait, wait. I think it... I think it says Brick. I don't know. Look, it's just got like weird combinations of letters. All right. But this one is just a nice dusty color see that is just the same color as catch my vibe and i like this one better i've actually used this one whereas this one oh dog hair or cat hair who knows this one i've only ever swatched it and i only did that just now so let's get rid of that and we're going to keep the color the color girl one okay that's two down yeah uh let's see let's just go in i'm gonna pull out like the ones in here that I know are pink blushes that I know we can compare to ones in here. This, this is an absolutely a keep. This is the Do What You Love blush from the Wet n Wild Care Bears collection. As you can see, I've used this a lot. It, oh, it is absolutely my favorite pink blush right now. 
It is so soft and so blendable. Just look at how cute that pink is. Oh, must keep that. Must, must keep that. Um, we have this coral from e.l.f. I'm wondering if this one is going to be very similar to... Ah, open this one here. It is not. They are not similar at all. They're not similar at all. This is actually, under this light, you can see it's actually more of an orange. Let's pull out some other orange blushes I have and compare it to that then. So I have this L'Oreal. This is, I think, Innocent Flush. Innocent Flush. Well, those aren't anywhere close to the same. And this one's sparkling. I do enjoy, when it's a color that I like, having a, a shimmer. And actually, that looks like it has a little bit of a shimmer to it. What? I enjoy having a shimmer and a matte. Yeah, those are nowhere close to the same color, though. Nowhere close to the same color. Okay. This is a maybe. If I can't find another one like this, this is a maybe. But I am going to keep this one. I like this one. I need also to stop tapping my nails on the covers. <laughs> um, I also have this ColourPop orange one which is really fantastic. This is the Foxy. Uh, I need to wipe my hand down again. I should just put that over here because I'm right-handed, so it should go on my right. This is just an orange, but oh, that's such a nice orange. And it's so different from the other ones too. All right, I'm gonna hold on to this one for now. If it's too close to something I like better from my Black Friday haul, I'll probably end up getting rid of it. But for now, it's a keep because it's nothing like anything I have. Um, oh, now that we're on to orange blushes, I've got this orange chocolate, sorry, chocolate orange truffle um, blush palette from BH Cosmetics. And I'm not gonna bother swatching all of these. Mostly I like this, another dog hair. It's everywhere. I like these because um, it's like if I know I want an orange blush, but I don't know what shade, I can just pull this out and be like, okay, what am I looking for? So this is really fantastic. I think I'm just, I'm gonna keep this because this is a color family that I know looks really good on me. And as you can tell, like I've reached for it a good few number of times. So we'll keep that. Um, this is still a maybe. I don't know about that. Then we have the BH Flower Power um, blush palette. And I haven't used any of these. I haven't. I haven't even touched them. And I can't, like, the whole purpose of these blush palettes for me is for travel. So can I see myself taking this as the extent of my blushes? on a trip not really not really and this this is would be the most unique color i think out of this palette the the only one that i would that would like tempt me to keep it and it's so close to this one here yeah i'm just i'm gonna get rid of this 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 doesn't need to be taking up space in my collection anymore um, two other automatic keeps here. We've got the color wash from Kylev Beauty. I just got this. I got it as a freebie in another order that I placed. And it is a cream blush palette, Modernity in Paris. Even though I'm like a ghost person, this just blends out and we're going to go up the arm it blends out so nicely i went in too hard on it there you're not going to be able to see it very well but it does blend out really nicely and i'm still playing with this i don't have any other uh cream blushes so this is kind of like my experiment to see if like that is a form like a direction i want to take so i'm going to hang on to this because i'm still experimenting with it this one, this is my ideal travel palette. I actually got this back in the States this summer. Um, this is the Maybelline Master Blush uh, collection. And it says number 10, but they don't have it in any other colors yet. This one here is just a really pale highlighter. 
that I've just never used. But I don't really care because I love these three blushes. So this is like, like I said, ideal for my traveling. So I'm going to keep this. This is, yeah, this was never on the chopping block at all, if I'm being honest. Okay, and then I have this. This is from MUA Beauty Academy, just some Ulta brand in rose tea. I do need a swatch. Whoa, I went in too hard with that swatching. Wow, that was that was not good. I do need the swatch list, however. Wow. Hmm. Because I'm wondering if this and this are close in color. And if they are, I like the formula of this better. I already have it. Hmm. Okay, let's swatch that not on the tattoo. See, I just can't see myself reaching for this in a situation when I wouldn't reach for that. So I, I'm going to get rid of this one. I'm going to get rid of that one. So that one's going bye-bye. Um, now we're down to some really fun ones. I need to switch here because this is the purple page. And we're getting into more purples. This is not a purple. This one I just got. This is technically a Black Friday purchase, but it came in like really, really quickly. This is... Um, City Color, I keep wanting to call it Color City, but City Color um, Cosmetics. This is a blush. It is a very shimmery blush. And I just, oh, I just loved it. Love it. I've only used it once yet. Uh, it kind of reminds me of this one here, which is Potted. You can see they're kind of in the same color family, but this one is obviously shimmery this one's also a pressed powder and this is a baked blush um i don't know what i'm even talking about i'm definitely keeping this i just got it i really like it and it's even though it is basically the same color as potted this one is shimmery so they're completely different uses so i'm going to keep that one these two are both um yes style purchases and I love both of them. Let me wipe off my hands here. Yeah. These were my first uh, lavender blushes because what happened was, was um, Trixie Mattel came out with her lavender blush palette and I couldn't afford it. So I was in the market for a lavender blush that I could actually afford. And you can see those aren't even anywhere close to the same color. You know, we got very, very light and then a more vivid purple. And they're not anywhere close to, like, my closest color pop one. Because you put this next to it. And even though it looks purple here, it's most definitely pink on the arm. So, obviously, we are keeping those. And then, ah, oh, my flower nose. This is from the Carnival Collection. This is Blue Moonlight. And just look. And I have used this. I've, I've actually used it pretty hard. And the pan embossing, like if that's the only thing keeping you from purchasing from Flower Nose is that you love the embossing, you're afraid it's going to go away. It's, it's very not. It's very deeply. It's very deeply embossed. Let me find the camera. Good Lord. Just, I love using like just the top, just the bottom. You blend them together and you get this like really pretty like beigey purple color that makes any sense. I think it does. But anyway, definitely keeping this. So let's put these away for the moment. Ah. I don't know how to do any of that fancy editing stuff. So you're just going to have to watch me fiddle around with these. Oh, I forgot about this. Let's just let's just get rid of it. I mean, it's super close to this orangey shade here in the master blush. And I'm just I have not reached for this in literal years. So let's just get rid of that. I'm just I'm too apathetic about it to keep it, if that makes any sense. So we've made a lot of room. Look at that. Oh, and now we have space in here because I know. Oh, hello. Let's not forget about you. We've made a lot of space in here because I know there have been a, there's actually been a couple of 
um, blush palettes that I bought for um, on Black Friday, um, knowing that I would likely depot them. Um, just because I don't really, I don't really like, um, like palettes like that, like that, because you can't see inside them. You notice that most all of the ones that I depotted here, or because they don't, the ColourPop ones don't come in a case with a clear front. Um, so that's why I depotted them because now I can just, ooh, that wasn't. That was not smooth. That was not smooth to me. Now I can just like look at them and see what I have. So this is probably going to get some new additions soon. But that does bring us to the in between of highlighters and blushes, which is these palettes. And I just, I just don't know. I just, I just don't know. I'm kind of considering I might just get rid of this. I thought it was really cheap and it was really cute and the quality's not bad. And the pan embossing is just adorable, but I just, I don't use it. Like this highlighter is just bleh. Like it's not as shiny as I would like. It doesn't have any color to it. It's nothing special just pink and then evil twin which is the bronzer it's just it's too dark for me that's like mud on my skin so i think i'm gonna get rid of this which is sad because i really like the theming of it but all right i'm gonna get rid of that another one that is a theming problem is this one i honestly i did not buy it for the blush. The blush though, this is Wet n Wild. This is the Oh My Star, which is the blue trio from the Little Twin Stars collab because there was also a pink one. The blush is just, it is a good blush because it's Wet n Wild. Wet n Wild has great blushes. The reason I bought it was for the highlighter. So I think I'm going to stick this, like this is just that basically doesn't exist. Like it's not even really a pressed glitter. Like nothing <laughs> comes off. It's just, it's, I think of it as being there for looks. That's basically it. So I'm going to put this in the maybe pile for now because I need to swatch my other highlighters and see what I have to convince myself that I can get rid of this because blue shifting highlighters are my weakness. I feel like at some point I should apologize for the state of my table that we're at here, but um, this is my crafting table. Um, I, I do crafts on it. I do resin and painting and mm, drink break and just like repairs and all of that jazz on here so this is it it shows its past i guess all right highlighters this this is a problem that's what that is we're gonna move the blushes over to the side here this is a problem i have probably more highlighters than i have any other single beauty product in my entire collection i'm not gonna lie um yeah so let's start off with the singles here um actually let's start off with the palettes and that way i can see if i have it in the singles because the singles are just so much easier for me to use personally than the palettes um this is the color sheen this is the highlighter um version of the kai love beauty um cream blushes. So these are cream highlighters. I'm not going to bother swatching them because I don't have anything like them. Um, again, keeping this because I want to see if like cream highlighters, cream blushes, that sort of thing is a thing that I can get into. So I'm going to keep this because it is unique in my collection. I also have the BH Strobe Shock and ah, 
See, every time I open this, I'm like, oh my goodness, how could I ever think of getting rid of this? Because just look at these. Oh, holographic packaging, man. But just, mm. I just love how colorful they are. But I don't think I've ever actually pulled it out to use it is the problem. Because I forget that I have it, but oh, look at those. Those are so fun. And I'm not a person that's going to be like, oh, well, this isn't wearable, so it's got to go. Because half the time I don't do traditional wearable makeup. So we're going to put this in the maybe pile. We're going to put this in the maybe pile. And maybe this, maybe I just need to depot. Um, highlighters so that I actually remember that I have them and remember to use them and I should swatch the highlighter here the one that wiping off the fingers so that I have something to compare it to okay put this here that is so sweet look at that it's more of a glisten than a heavy glitter sparkle these are very opaque and like I wouldn't say they're wet looking, I'd say they're more metallic. So, okay, that is a maybe, that is a maybe. Okay, now we have the BH Aspen. This was in my daughter's, um, like I have, I have decluttered this once already. I decluttered it, I gave it to my daughter. She didn't use it and now it's back to me. <laughs> That's kind of how things go in this house. So we have, all of these fun colors. Let's just swatch them up next year. Oh, that is really, see, the problem is, is that these are just really fun, but I forget to use them. Oh my goodness. Look at that purple. Oh, that is like, oh, I think me, this is really just showing me and like, those aren't the same at all either. This is really just showing me that I probably need to depot these. Oh, I love that. The pink and the purple are kind of duochromes. Oh, it's showing me that I really probably ought to just depot. Oh, I love that too. Depot the highlighter palettes so that I actually use them. Oh, that is really pretty too. Okay, I just, I see, I can't get rid of this. I love it too much. I just, Okay, I think I'm going to keep both of these and I'm going to depot them. Yeah, I think that's what I'm doing. I'm going to depot these so that, because let's be real, I'm never going to take these traveling. They just, when I go on trips, I bring more wearable makeup. I don't bring stuff for what I call Instagram makeup. Um, excuse the literal air quotes there. <laughs> um, so like i'm not gonna be taking these to travel with so they probably would serve me better depotted where i can actually see what i have um as opposed to just forgetting that they exist so i think that's what's gonna happen with those now we have these two i keep turning these towards me instead of towards the camera i have two wet and wild highlighter palettes and see, this is the problem is Wet n Wild, I feel, has the best drugstore highlighter formula out there. <sighs> right away, I'm thinking that I should just get rid of this one. Um, because I don't know if you can tell, but I haven't touched these gold ones. And they're just too dark for my skin tone. So I think we're going to declutter this. Just declutter that. Um, that's the problem is this one. I just, I just love like this one here. I believe it's this one here. I have in a single, whoop, in a single, oh wait, no, it's this one here. And I've potted it because, or I've panned it because I love it so much. And that was part of the reason why I kept this one around was because this one is broken. And I was like, oh, well, then I can still have it. And this gold here, as opposed to the gold in the other one, 
is actually a fairly good gold for my skin tone. So I think I'm going to throw this one out because it's just, it's old, it's broken. It's, I've gone to pan on it. Like I, it has lived its full life. So I've actually have a garbage can here. Let's toss that. And then I'll keep this and probably depot it. Maybe. Maybe depot this, but point is I'm gonna keep this one. Um, I'm gonna keep it here and open though, so that I can remind myself because I have other uh, Wet n Wild Mega Mega Glow. I don't know whatever they call their highlighters. Um, highlighters in here, and I want to make sure that I don't end up keeping multiples. So, like if I have too many of these in here, then this will just have to go. So. That is there. Oh, this is an automatic keep. This is my uh, ZC highlighter. This is in the shade Dreamland H05. Look at that pan embossing. Just look at that. Oh, this is my go to just everyday highlighter. Let me show you. Actually, let's put it over the tattoo because you see there's no pigmentation, it's just all, all glitz. Like, this is the highlighter for people who think that they are too old, too serious for highlighter. Like, my mom, she's turning 60 next year, and I talked her into highlighter with this. She's like, I'm too old for highlighter. I'm like, okay, well, hear me out. So I bought her one of these for herself because I was just like, see, everyone needs a little sparkle in their lives. All right, here we go. We got another, yeah, Mega Glow. This is actually, no, it's not the same as the one that I just uh, decluttered. This one is a white to blue. That, that, okay, that's actually really, really similar to the one from the Little Twin Stars. So, which isn't surprising because they're both wet and wild. So I think I'm going to keep this one. And I'm going to get rid of this one. And this one's probably going to make somebody really happy with this adorable packaging. Again, it's upside down, but just, yeah. All right. So that's going, that is going to go, this one's going to stay. Um, oh, and I have a Becca highlighter. I probably, <laughs> I, I paid more for this than I typically do for highlighters, but that was because Becca was, this was when we just found out Becca was going out, her stuff was going on sale and it looks like a UFO and I really, really wanted one. Uh, this is in the shade Pearl. So this is just, I bought the cheapest one is what happened. This is another, this is more of an icy version of an everyday highlighter. I'm not getting rid of this. It looks like a UFO. It's discontinued. I'm keeping it. Um, I'm going to get another paper towel. Breach. Aha. See, I told you, this is my crafting table. What do you need for crafts? You need paper towels. Paper towels are a must for crafts. Okay. Um, another absolutely will keep is my Kaleidos Space Age, Space Age Gifted Highlighter. It is absolutely gorgeous just swatch that just because i love it oh my goodness look at that oh this this is like an everyday highlighter for me like if i can't decide on what highlighter to use it's probably going to be this one it's just it is it is one of my favorites for just like every every look so that is an absolute key and i'm going to take a drink break i'm doing a lot of talking and i'm thirsty apple juice and a wine glass because i don't drink but i think wine glasses are cute oh speaking of multi-chrome highlighters this is the chromosome from she glam um i got this one because i couldn't afford to get the gifted um i then was able to get the gifted but i also wanted to see because this is a real, this is 
It's, is it as good as the Kaleidos? No. You can see them next to each other here. It's not. Is it a very decent multi-chrome highlighter for, like, I think this is somewhere in the range of 5 to $10? Yes. It is, this is a very good highlighter. Um, I know all the problems with um, Shein and by extension She Glam. Um, but the problem with living in a late stage capitalism society is that some people don't have the money to avoid big box brands. Um, and I don't think that we should be shaming people for not having the money to buy small. Um, if you feel that, if you feel super strongly about it, vote for people that are going to make a change don't shame people that don't have the money to shop elsewhere but i think this is a great product and if you are lusting after the space age but it is or the gifted from kaleidos but it is not in your price range this is absolutely a great alternative it's not a full dupe but it does give you the vibes so i i actually recommend this i really really like it actually so both of these are a keep. Um, and moving on now that we've had the serious talk. Okay, this is another Wet n Wild one. Uh, is this the same as the other one? Is it? Do I just have two? No, no, this is a white to pink. This is a white to pink. Is this a white to pink? See, this is a problem is they don't have shade names. They just had individual pan embossing. So is this the same as this one here? Yes. Okay, so this one can go. And we're going to keep that one. Because this one has this one in it. So now we're just, we know, and we can get rid of this. Which is super loved. And I'm going to have to... <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with that one. Ooh, look at this purple. This is a limited edition. This one actually has, see, the problem is they have their name on the sticker. Who keeps the sticker? Like, this one has the sticker. I have a couple that have the sticker on them, but most of them do not. Most of them do not. So this is Lilac to Reality. I love this one. This was, I believe, one of, came from one of their fantasy makers. Look at that. Just a pale, icy violet. I don't know if I can't see. I can't see the screen, so I don't know how well this is picking up. But this is a really great violet for when you want just a violet shift as opposed to it starts out just violet. So this is really great for us ghost people, as I like to call <laughs> I am so pale. I'm not as pale as I once was because now I live on a tropical island, but oh, Royal Calyx, I think is the name. This one is so pretty. This has a, I'm just swatching all of them now. This is, it has a purple to pink shift. So I'm going to put it over here. Or not because it doesn't show up because there's too much over there. Let's do the finger. <laughs> See, this has a very similar shift to this one. Actually, hold on. Let's, I don't remember what finger I used. Crap. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to wipe off my fingers and start again. I'm going to swatch it over here next to the purple one that we, the lilac to reality. Oh, those are way too close. I cannot justify having both of those. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to keep this one because it looks the most well used and I'm going to declutter this one. We are making progress. Oh, back to She Glam. Clatter. Uh, I got the Corpse Bride highlighter. I was drawn in by this pan embossing. Look at that. The lithograph is really disappointing. As you can see, like, only, I, they should have just left it with the butterflies. Maybe had the butterflies move a little bit because you never actually see the bride. Like, She's there, but she's she's not bright and bold. And that really 
that really annoys me actually because it's like if you're going to have a lithograph like make it a lithograph this is another white to blue shift but this blue as opposed to the wet and wild blues is more of a purple blue and i love that let's let's put it over here no it's very different from those ones if you put it next to purple it looks blue if you put it next to blue it looks purple i'm going to keep this i just i just got it um again i like the she glam uh highlighter formula i don't know if it's the same in all of their highlighters this one is definitely a lot lighter than the multichromatica or whatever it was um this is just a lot more sparkly this is a bit more for like everyday wear where it's just a sheen so all right we are getting down to it oh my gosh look look at how much we have left to do and i am like out of hand space this is ridiculous all right next up is the let your light shine the care bears wet and wild you already know i love the wet and wild formula i'm like i can swatch this just because i want to <laughs> it is such a lovely like everyday yellow look at that and it's so sparkly. I love this one so much. This is honestly pretty much a neutral on my skin tone. Yellow looks really good on me. I love this. This is also my favorite Care Bear. So that is also a bonus. <laughs> Keeping that. All right. Now we have gone from, oh, we've got one more Wet n Wild. Let's just do this Wet n Wild one. And so we can break away from the Wet n Wild. This is from, I think this is from the Rebel rose collection i really like this this is a just bold pink you can tell so it's like this one starts out pink as opposed to one of these ones that is like white and then shifts to pink this starts out pink but it's not as bold as the bh1 over here i really like this i love doing blush draping with this one so definitely keeping that one all right next up let's get into color pop i think i've maybe bought two of these <laughs> they just keep appearing um I, gotta be honest i don't like this formula i just i'm not i'm not the person that the super shock formula is aimed at this one just got uh, it got massacred in the mail i ordered i believe i got this one through um Ulta and it came in broken and so it's like word from the wise if you love makeup and you're overseas don't don't order from Ulta if there's not an Ulta near you um yeah if you're an American stationed overseas don't order from Ulta America to your uh, AP address. Just don't. I mean, if a if a putty highlighter can come in broken, that's not a good sign. That's just not a good sign. Um, so that was that one. This is Monster. Okay, love that name. I just I don't I don't use these. I don't. This one's really similar to it too. Oh, that feels so weird. And the thing, yeah, that's, it's, they're the same. They're the same. I just have two of this one. This one also is Monster. I just, I don't, I keep saying I don't use these. I don't use these. I should just, I should just get rid of these. I'm going to get rid of all of these because I don't, I don't use them. I don't like them. They should go to someone who's going to enjoy them. So they, they're out. They're just, they're all gone. Get rid of those. All right, and I have Ofra. I have the mini Rodeo Drive. This is probably one of my favorite gold highlighters. I know that the brand got in some hot water a while ago, but I bought this before then. Look at that. Ugh. It's just so much better than the other gold ones. They all, they all have their strengths this is the wet and wild um one from the palette it is softer 
more everyday wear, more blend it down to a sheer. The Wet n Wild Care Bear one is more sparkly, and then this one is more smooth and metallic and like wet. So they all have their advantages, their strengths. I'm going to hold on to this. I got the mini because I could not justify the expense of the full size one. So I'm going to keep that because I really, I really do like that. Mm. Now moving on to the, we got city color again. This is a blush. It says it's a blush. This is Snapdragon, but it's not this color. It's also like really um, like soft. I used this one and the one that is in my blush collection, this one here, together to blush drape. And I went into this one with the same like pressure that I went into the other one with, and this just like exploded like powder fallout everywhere. So this one is just softer than the other one. Um, so it's just see, it for me, this is not this is not a blush. This is it's just it's too shiny to be a blush. So I put it in my highlighter section because if i'm going to use it i'm going to use it as a highlighter so i'm going to keep that i'm going to keep that all right we are getting down to it we only have a few left this is my game beauty highlighter i only have one this is from their pearlized highlighter collection uh, elemental pearl and i got the green one which is Den dendro because uh, I mean, if you look at all this, there really isn't, there's this green one there and that's it. And I don't even think that's green. I think that might be a yellow or a gold, but so I want it like of all the ones that were in this collection, the green was really the only one that I thought I didn't have anything like in my collection. So this is, again, this doesn't even have much of a cast to it but it does go more from a white to a green here. So definitely keeping that. There was never a question. Um, oh, these, these are, um, <laughs> uh, who, who emoji, who emoji, which I think this is a, um, so I got these off of AliExpress. I think this is a brand that mostly does, um, knockoffs but i don't know what this is a knockoff of and i real i got this one i started out with this one. yeah i started out with this one and i really loved it so i bought it in every color because it was just like really really cheap so see isn't that lovely isn't that lovely the other ones are like really glittery but this is like the most wearable one um the closest i would have would maybe be this white one, but I think this has a, yeah, this has a blue shift to it. This is just a flat out white. So this is what I go for when I am really feeling the bright under eyes, like clown white under eyes. And I really want to make that, like lean into that. This is what I go for. This is my like really white highlighter. So I'm definitely keeping that. Uh, this was my first yellow highlighter, so I don't know because I don't know. I feel like I'm going to like my Care Bear one more. So that was over there. I might have to just swatch the Care Bear one again. Oh, but that is so nice. That is so nice. These, they swatch really nice. On the face, they're a bit more glittery than they are when I swatch them here. You'll just have to take my word for that. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, yeah, that's nothing like the Care Bear one. The Care Bear one's more glittery. I think I'm going to keep this one because it's not like any of the other yellows. You see here, it's just not like any of the other yellows. It's more sparkle. It's more mm, yellow, if that makes any sense. Um, so I'm thinking I'm going to keep this for like Instagram makeup looks. I'm not doing great with that. I, I 
do I do have quite a bit of makeup that I bought out of AliExpress, but that's because there is that's actually where you get indie makeup here. So, um, like flower nose, my flower nose blush here, I bought off of AliExpress because the shipping from the flower nose official AliExpress shop was cheaper to my house here in Okinawa than it was from the flower nose Japanese site. So that's just something to keep in mind. I think that would be the same if you were purchasing um, to the States also, if you want to purchase from flower nose or um, I can't think of the name of it now, the one that does the makeup that's like highly detailed embossing with the like dragon lipsticks, you know the one. Um, their shipping, they also have an AliExpress store and their shipping on there I think is more reasonable than it is like to the States than it is going from their direct website. Um, so there's something to keep in mind. So I'm definitely gonna, I, mm, this one though I don't know is that's this here and this just seems too much like this kind of rose color like um uh pink gold color here i don't i don't think i need this one i never reach for it either so i think i'm going to declutter this one that's one of <laughs> one of my aliexpress ones down oh this was like my original um pink i know this one is different from the wet and wild one which is here there's not much pink to that at all hold on yeah there's not a whole lot of pink to that at all but that is so much the same as the pink gold from my wet and wild highlighted palette so i'm going to keep the wet and wild and i'm going to declutter this one we're doing great. We're actually getting rid of stuff. I'm so proud of me. I'm going to have to deeply, deeply wash my hands after this. Okay, one more. One more. This is my very first highlighter. This is the Master Holographic from Maybelline. <laughs> my very first dedicated highlighter. Pre prior to getting this highlighter in my life, I used a sparkly champagne colored eyeshadow for highlighter that's like that's how old this thing is it's kind of like the super shock formula it's a little bit putty which is why i haven't really used it in a while but look at that shine look at that shine you can distract any if you want to distract your adhd friends if you want to tell them a secret that they will never remember wear this highlighter that this is this is the one i'm not getting rid of this no not getting rid of that so that is what i did let's put these back and get um actually like maybe count up like what i ended up keeping versus what i didn't uh this is going to be interesting <laughs> i don't know if these are all going to fit in here as well as like or as tightly as they did before because i got rid of so many highlighters I'm so proud of myself. I did not, did not think I would be getting rid of that many highlighters. I might actually, no, I don't want to put them flat because if I put them flat, then I'll never find them. I'll see. I'm going to put that one towards the back because I know that I'll, I know it's kind of counterintuitive, but I'm kind of putting the ones that I use more towards the back because this kind of goes back in my drawer because I'll go looking for them. <laughs> Okay, so that is that. We're keeping these palettes, these highlighters. All right, let's take a look at what we're getting rid of here. So we've got all five of these Super Shock highlighters. Got one, two, three, four. So that's nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. Oh, I got rid of so much. I say I got rid of, it's still in my house. It's still in my house taking up room. But um, yeah, now I just need to 
packages up and find new homes for them. But uh, thank you for joining me in my declutter journey. Um, this was super fun. Uh, I guess like and subscribe if you <laughs> don't mind hearing me talk for what is this? Oh my goodness, almost an hour now. Well, this was fun. Hopefully, I will see you here again. And bye.